Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. This one we're going to be talking about maps in hard ops. So now uh, we know that if you want to add material to uh, to something in hard ops, all you need to do is press Alt M, and you simply click on a mat, and the random map is going to get generated and added to the scene. It's going to be a BSDF mat, right? But there is a cool feature called maps, and if you press Alt M, you'll see it in here. And now, uh, if this uh, is grayed out, you either have nothing selected or you don't have maps linked. Now, to get maps linked to hard ops, you first need to have maps. And what maps are these? Well, these are basically roughness maps, and you can download them from internet, but hard ops actually gives you an opportunity to get a really good pack of maps discounted. So if you go to Q, settings, link ops, and you scroll up here once, you'll see this tallable, 150 tallable maps on Gumroad, okay? They're made by uh, Travis Davids, and they're really good. You got a discount here, so you can grab them by a at a really good price. You got 150 roughness maps, which is more than enough. Once you get them, you download them, and then you press Ctrl K on your keyboard, and you go to Properties, and under Maps folder here, you need to link your Maps folder to HardUp. So you simply find the folder when you download the maps from. You, of course, need to unzip them, and then you click on the folder, accept, and, you know, you're done. So now then, if you press Alt-M and you go to Map Scroll, now you're going to be able to actually Map Scroll um, through the different roughness maps. And, you know, there you go. And in addition to this one, you got this H menu, which allows you to uh, do a lot. So, for example, if you hold um, Shift and Control, right, and you start uh, scrolling, you're going to be increasing or decreasing the bump, okay? You can turn the bump on and off with N. You know, you can just uh, hold Control and move to add the scale. You can press R and remove your mouse to rotate. And you can just press E to change map to, you know, to something random. Um, and, you know, you can press G and move them. Uh, so this is really an incredible way of working because you can very quickly add something really awesome to your models like for example scratches to the floor or whatnot have fun with it play with it there's nothing much really to say about it other than you know this is bloody awesome so you know you can scroll through them um, until you find something that you want or let's say something like this and I got myself you know a really nice kind of a dirty floor with literally one click. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. And as usual, links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description. So if you need them, go ahead and grab them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.